what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying and first impressioning the new Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. I will also be trying the new brush and sponge duo that go with it. I am super excited to try this out because the first Morphe foundation I did not have the best of luck with. So if you are excited to see my thoughts and how this foundation looks, then go ahead and keep watching. So I have the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. I'm really excited to try this out with you guys and just see how it is. I have it in medium 13 and I did an unboxing that I got from a haul that I got from Ulta. I'll put it up here for you guys when I got this. And I'm kind of like, I think I got the wrong color, but we'll have to try it out. If I did, I can just go back and get another one. And then I'm also going to be trying, I know that this is, you know, trying the new Morphe foundation, but I'm also trying the new Marshmallow primer from NYX so I got this because of TikTok but I figured I figured I'd give them both a shot so let's see what this says it says this is a long wearing oil free natural finish foundation hydrates skin and blurs imperfections for ultimate soft focus look infused with hyaluronic acid vitamin E and glycerin so this is the marshmallow primer base and it says use alone or with foundation which is exciting but I've never used is it like made of marshmallow oh it looks like marshmallow ah, okay I think I might have put too much on there Ooh. so I'm just gonna oh yeah I put too much on I put too much oh my god that smells so good Oh man, keep this away from kids. Oh God. I definitely put too much on, but my dry skin will soak that up. I will tell you, I love the way this smells for sure because it smells like a delicious marshmallow treat. So I would definitely keep this away from your children. So I also got the brush and sponge duo to apply this with. I'm going to apply one side of the face with this brush, which is what this is. And then I'm going to apply one side of the face with the makeup sponge, which I have used, just not with this foundation. So we're going to try it out. So I will say I like how this primer makes, I'm looking in the mirror and the monitor, and it really gives my skin like a nice glow on top of, by the way, I smelled like a treat. Like it smells so good. I'm going to go into the foundation. I'm going to do a, a couple pumps onto my tray. So this is the sponge after it's been wet. When I tell you guys this thing is huge, like look at it to my palm so I have used it before so we'll give her a quick review it is very soft okay it's very soft very very soft like I like it and I'm so excited and surprised because the original Morphe sponges I cannot stand I've said that a million times across my channel I don't need to continue it they're hard they don't get soft they're just I don't like them but but this one is very soft. I do like that it's very soft. The only thing is I thought that this, the way it's like cut, would make it so like easier to use, but it really doesn't. Like it makes it so weird. So when I was using it, I just could only use this end of it because I just couldn't get this to work out the way that I wanted to. I'm gonna try again today, but, and it's also huge. So that's one thing that I don't like because I know some people are like, oh, well you want it big, blah, blah, but I mean, it's almost, look at this. It's almost the height of, from my jaw to my cheek. Like it's just not, it's a little bit excessive is all I'm saying. So I'm going to first go in with the Morphe and this is their E63 brush and it's slanted here, but this brush was made for this foundation or at least it came out with this foundation. So I'm going to just dab a little. Yeah, I think this is going to be too light for me, but we'll bronze it up. It's not a big deal. And I'm going to do this side of my face with the brush. It's not terrible. It's not a terrible match. Okay. I do like this brush. Oh my God. I like that it's slanted. I know that sounds weird. This foundation feels really nice. So I had originally tried the Morphe foundation. It was like the first, like the original foundation. <sighs> I hated, uh, hated that foundation. It was so thick and heavy and so matte that like with my dry skin, I just couldn't. It didn't work out. I tried it multiple times and it just, the only time it looked good was like on camera or if I like photoshopped my picture to death because it was so thick. It just made every line, every dry spot just look so cakey and gross. A lot of people liked it and I'm just like, oh, well, you know, 
you got perfect skin or you got oily skin. That is the only, like, I feel like that's the only people that could really pull off that foundation. So please ignore the green hue because I do have freshly dyed green hair. I feel like the lights are making my face look more green, but I promise you in person, it is not that green. I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but when I look at my monitor, it definitely looks like my face is greened out. I'm not becoming the Incredible Hulk. So I like this and I've put very little on and I feel like it's giving me, it's giving me pretty good coverage. I can see it kind of sticking to this. I have some eczema situation going on today and I can see it kind of sticking here, but it's not terrible. And I've only used a little bit of the 80 pumps that I put out. I put so much out because I thought I was going to have to use a lot because it was like more hydrating. But I will say if you do your found your foundation before like your eyes, you'll probably have an easier time. But I am having like a harder time getting with this brush into areas because I do my eyeshadow first. So I'm just going to cover my nose instead of trying to do half. It just makes it easier. So mm, that's not bad. And it looks my skin looks hydrated. I will comment below once I upload this with an updated thing because I wear this throughout the day when I'm filming and then I like to update you guys in the comments of how it actually turned out throughout the day. Alright so now we're going to go into the sponge on this side. I'm going to use the bottom to just apply it. It definitely is a nice sponge compared to the other ones that they have but it's just so big like it's like a big freaking sponge it's unnecessary to be this freaking big. And then like I feel like when I go in with this part it's just it's an awkward angle if that makes any sense and like it doesn't pick the foundation up on the brush like it's am I supposed to swipe it I don't know so it just stays on the tip of it and then it goes like this and I'm just it's too thin that way I don't know I don't like it <laughs> I don't like it's definitely softer than it was than their original sponge but it's it's such a weird it's a weird thing maybe it's just personal preference but I don't like my sponges to be this big I might cut it down to where I can use it like half of it I know that sounds really strange but it might not be that bad if I do that but it's too big for my face like whose face is that big that they need a sponge that size nope but I have been really liking going in with makeup brushes lately anyways because I feel like it just applies the makeup much better and then going through like going over it with a beauty blender so I think it looks really nice it's definitely not as full coverage as I prefer but if you're looking for that like luminous you know soft hydrating then you have to kind of just sacrifice either full coverage or hydrating which sucks except for the Huda foundation that is the only foundation that I have found that is like not hydrating per se but like more hydrating and luminous but full coverage at the same time like it's so weird her complexion products are really really good so I'm going in with the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer and I'm just gonna pump some here I feel like this is darker than the dang foundation oh man and I did more of a matching concealer just because I don't um, because I did pick a color that was way too light. I didn't want to also pick a concealer that's super white because then it just makes me look really washed out. So we're going to try to bronze this look up. I really do like this foundation though from being like a first impression standpoint. I feel like it does look really nice. Again, I can see where it's kind of sitting on my textured spots on my face. Like, and like I have bumps going on here, which I have no idea. Because these bumps don't ever show up until I put makeup on my face. But like right up in here. Ugh. And then like around my nose, I have a little settling going on. So just keep that in mind. We'll see. We'll see. I wish I didn't get such a pale color. But yeah. I'm going in with my new powder that I got. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder for your under eye. And I'm going to place some on my under eye. Just to kind of brighten up that area just a smidge and see how the foundation plays with powder I feel like that powder is really dry oh my gosh like I can feel it under my eye just tight oh 
I don't know that I like this powder that much. Great. Mm. All right, and then today I'm going to go in with a creamy bronzer instead of a powdered bronzer. And this one is by Tarte. It's the Breezy Cream Bronzer in Seashells. And I got this one. I did a Sephora haul. Sephora haul. Maybe it was Sephora. I think it was Sephora. I'll link it above so you guys have it. But I did like a huge Sephora haul. And I got a new cream bronzer because I love cream bronzers. Mm, I actually like this. This is a nice formula. Like it's not super thick. I feel like I'm not having any issues blending it out, which is very nice. And it's giving me like a nice color. It's not bad. I like this. I this one up. So I do wish that this bronzer was a little bit darker, but I did like how it felt on my face. So I'm going to go in with my new Jaclyn Hill bronzer and blush in the sun kissed and bronze moment um i did like i said a review on both of these items and i will link that up here for you to check out but i was a fan i will say that i was a fan of these little comics i just wish i had gotten a darker color so i'm just gonna put bronzer basically over where i just put the cream bronzer to ultimately set it but also give it a little bit more brown because <laughs> I feel like I'm not getting that bronzy look that I want. Put some of that on. I'm trying to get through this part so I can kind of see how the foundation is looking under all of this product. And it actually, it's not terrible. I do see, like I said, it's still, it's still clinging to some of this dryness. So I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but it is the one thing I don't really care for as much when stuff clings to my dry skin but at the same time not everyone might have that problem if they don't have dry skin but it says it has hyaluronic acid in it that's supposed to make it like mmm so okay so I'm gonna go into my highlighter and today I'm just using the Becca palette this mm. actually looks really good Ooh, this TV this monitor is way too surreal for me. Like, I look so good here, and that monitor is making me feel like I do not look good. So, I need it to calm down. The truth is on that monitor. It's because it's an IPS display. It's like, oh, you wanted to see see? <laughs> we didn't know you wanted to see see. We're going to make you look like you're freaking creppy and creepy. So, I'm not... It does... I will say it sticks a little bit to Madras skin, which I've already said a million times, so I don't know why I keep saying that. But other than that, like I feel like it looks nice. It's not super heavy because when I was first putting it on, I really could not even tell that I was putting it on. Um, but it looks nice. It looks nice. I don't hate it. I do not hate this foundation. I'm going to use the Morphe setting spray, the continuous setting mist, and this one is the collab with Sweetie. So it smells like peach schnapps. Like I swear to you guys, it smells like peach schnapps, okay? Just letting you know. Alright, so I'm going to hop off camera and I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes and get myself together. And then we'll come back for our final thoughts on the Morphe foundation. Alright guys, so here for my final thoughts on the foundation um i do wish i would have gotten just a little bit of a darker color i feel like it's kind of like it's not terrible like when i look here it's not terrible but it does kind of like wash me out a little bit um as for the wear i've had it on doing the rest of this and this eye look i will put that video up here for you guys to check out it's been on here for a while like it only seems like two seconds for you guys but it's been on my face for probably about 45 minutes like i said in the video i will tell you right in here i have some clinging to like where my eczema is and like where I get dry right here and then around the nose but it doesn't look bad I feel like I'm able to achieve like that matte foundation look without it looking like cakey their first foundation was so super cakey and thick that I, I couldn't even wait five minutes without it looking like I was cake face. So I feel like this is actually really, really nice. Um, I did really, really like the primer. I am into that primer. It's a very expensive 
drugstore primer, but it was nice and it smelled good. But as for this foundation, I feel like it looks, it looks good. Like it feels good. It almost, it doesn't feel weightless, but when I put it on, I was like, oh, like it didn't feel like I was putting on foundation where if you guys have the other Morphe one, I don't care if you liked it or disliked it. When you put that stuff on, you could feel you put it on. So I really do like it. I don't think it's a bad price considering I have foundations that are well over the $20 range. So I think that this is actually pretty decent. They have a large variety of shades. I will probably go get one. I don't think I will get it a shade darker, maybe just a little bit more warm. Cause I feel like it just made me like, kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't, maybe it's the green hair, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like how this shade looks on me? Do you think I need to get a different shade? What are we thinking? Let me know down below. So that is it for today's first impression slash review of the new Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. Let me know down below if you guys have it and what do you think about it. Also, whenever you're telling me your thoughts on like skincare or foundation, like just complexion stuff, make sure you put in there what your skin type is just so like everyone else who's reading it and me can kind of get like a little bit of knowledge. Like, okay, if it looks really nice on you, what kind of skin type do you have? If it looks really bad, what kind of skin type do you have? It just gives us a little bit more education purposes does that make sense i don't know maybe i'm just crazy but i hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those and i will see you guys on the next one bye